Hey everybody, it's Chugga Conroy. Welcome back to more Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask. In the last episode, we entered the Deku Palace over there and, and found the brother of the monkey who we were supposed to save there. However, we were unable to do so, so instead, he gave us instructions to go to the um, Woodfall Temple, which we're heading to now, to go and save the Deku Princess that the monkey was trying to save, but for some reason his mission failed and the royal family thinks that he kidnapped the princess. Uh, these new enemies, they are simply just called dragonflies. Yeah, really, really boring. Uh, they can instantly be killed by jumping out of these Deku flowers. Yeah, killed by a projectile shot by Flora. Wimps. Okay, so, head never here. It's actually just a higher area than where we were before when we were on the boat cruise. You can see the boats down there. It's a boat cruise. And check this out. Hoot! <laughs> this is a rare sight. You are a fairy child, correct? It's Al Kabora Gabora is from Hyrule as well, yet another familiar face. What business might you have uh, in this poison swamp? If you dare not venture further, it is better that you hurry back to town. The swamp you are in has lost its guardian deity, but it was destined to fade anyway. Hoot hoot! And the destiny is not solely limited to the swamp. If you have the courage and determination to proceed in the face of destiny, then I shall teach you something useful. Before coming here, had you not seen any of the stone statues that bear close resemblance to me? I have placed those throughout the land to aid to end bleh, to aid one with the power to change the destiny of this land, wherever he may appear. If you have left proof of your encounter in any of those stone statues, yeah, we have to leave an impression on them with our sword. The song carved at my feet will certainly be of some assistance. Remember it well and play it whenever the need arises. All right, so. Let's check this. What do you know? Notes are carved in the stone. We're learning yet another song already. They're just throwing songs at us. They're just throwing songs at us, man. Now we have learned the Song of Soaring. This allows us to go. This allows us to fly to any owl statue that we have previously hit with our sword, which is why I was telling you that you really, really should hit those. Because really, a good idea to have areas you can go to. In the Japanese version, that was all they did. In the American version, they added the save feature. Also, in the Japanese version, like I, I know I said this before, though, but in addition to that, Japanese version had three save files. American version has two. That's why you have less save files because they had to get rid of one save file to make room for that. Kind of a downside of cartridges, though, but hey. Alright, so. We are now here in the swamp. And here we have a new enemy. This here is called a hip loop. I have no idea why this is called a hip loop, because it's not a ring in any way, shape, or form. And it's just a circle. It has no hip. And, okay, fine. Charge me. Damn bug. Come here. Come here. STOP HITTING ME! Thank you. And we locked onto his corpse. That's very nice. Okay, so. Just wanna hit him in the face. Yeah, yeah. Hit him in the face. Hit him in the face. And he's going back pretty far. Okay, how'd I do that? Not complaining, but I'll take it. <laughs> how did that even happen? I just, he went through me. That was pathetic. Dude, that is the worst enemy in history. Oh. I don't get to taunt for very long. All right, my victories are short-lived, I know. Maybe you hate me just like Pikmin 2 hates me, because to be honest, when not commentating, that game really wasn't that hard, though, but dang, it was just being so stupidly hard when I was commentating, it was crazy. And let's shield. That had no use. But you didn't know this, but we, are the greatest dancer in the land. Dance party, get down! Okay. Yeah, that shield function is something not a lot of people know about, but hey. They're not really not a lot of people know about that, but a lot of people just don't really try. Here, isn't that the Deku scrub mark? I wonder why, if they worshipped here. Hint what we have to do, but before we do anything else, we want to go ahead and hit that. And there we go. We now have yet another owl statue activated, which we can use to save at, which I think I'm actually going to do right now just to uh, take a quick break from everything. 
And with that, I think we're going to end things off here. So, next time in The Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask, we're going to be going into Woodfall Te- Okay, no, not really. I like this. If you wish to interrupt your adventure, game. Again, speak to me. I like how it doesn't want to tell him that he's in a game. Anyway, so what we got to do here is we want to go ahead and switch to our Deku Mask. And oh! I don't know why I did that. I just felt like getting that out of my system. It sounded like I was constipated. Anyway, though. Up left, up left, A right, A... And Bidrana will never hurt from again. Now the water doesn't quite go up that high as much as it looks like it. And here we go! This is Woodfall Temple that can only be opened knowing the Sonata of Awakening. Technically, there's other stuff we could do out here in the swamp, but we're going to do those things later just because, you know, there really isn't much else. Well, I don't know if I'd quite say that, though, but anyway. Um, I should explain. The reason why I cut away there was because I'm doing this thing where I am copying my save file over, so if something goes wrong in recording, I can redo it without having to worry because, you know, it's a quick save. You can copy your quick saves to your other save file, slot, which I did. Anyway, right here is a stray fairy. Uh, you might remember that the great fairy was telling us that stray fairies will fear us unless we have this mask. So we're going to go ahead and put this on. And as you can see, it's emitting these particles. That means that there is a stray fairy in the room. So definitely a good thing to use in these dungeons, though, because this is going to be our first dungeon, if you have not guessed by this point. Dungeons are a typical staple throughout the series you know you just you go in and out of dungeons you go in you get an item you fight a boss it's you know just typically how they lead up to those kinds of big fights let's see if I can anything in there nah there I didn't think there would be uh, blue repeat now nah. uh, there's gonna be beehives near you can shoot those with your bubbles my bubble my bubble I'm bubble boy like new Super Mario Bros okay let's see here gonna get this and there's a straight fairy in there so now we got two all right not bad let's go over here Ooh, riding all my flowers. Love having flowers that can fly, man. Wish all plants were that awesome. Come Zelda's got to have all the cool plants, man. And don't want to land on those. Let's go over here. Ah, uh, that stench. This place stinks like that poison swamp. Anyway, let's get this. Let's get a Deku stick there. If you do not have any Deku sticks, you're probably going to want to get some of them because just letting you know, they're going to be needed. Break this pot, we get yet another stray fairy, really nice. According to the great fairy, we're gonna have to look for as many stray fairies as we can because she says that anywhere there's stray fairies, they are broken up great fairies like herself. So we're gonna go over here, hop over this. Uh, something I should note that's actually kind of funny. We get into these, we turn into a human, watch what happens. Nom 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 nom. <laughs> Tastes terrible! Yeah, you get basically screwed here because you're gonna keep getting damaged. No. Wow, I cannot get at it. <laughs> am I gonna die here? Seriously? Yeah, I am. <laughs> That's what I get for getting arrogant and showing stuff. <laughs> wow. Uh, in this game, there is no real penalty for dying. You just kind of go back to the start of the dungeon. Anyway, I'll meet you guys back where we were. <laughs> that was too good. Okay, we're back. Um, I have to say, I guess now that we're starting out in this dungeon here, uh, I have to say this. I hate the music in this place. Like, it's just a banshee screaming. Like, listen. Yeah, it's a banshee going, Aah! No, it's... Just listen, hang on. She's like, listen, Ooh! Ooh! That's music. They really consider that music. I can't stand the music in the dungeons in this game. There's one, technically two dungeon themes that I like in this game, but I will say this. Typically, I think this is the better game over Ocarina of Time. Um, but I will say, I will agree. Ocarina of Time definitely tops this game on dungeon themes, because Ocarina of Time had, you know, the Forest Temple, the Water Temple, Spirit Temple, all songs that I like. But this game has, like, one dungeon theme that I like. Anyway, what are we going to do here? We can actually kill these guys now. Come on. Get over here. Aflac. Boom! Do I missed. 
No, I missed again. Come on, you technically don't have to do this room, though. I just want to because I'm trying to get 100% here, so. Come on. There we go. You just have to go into the flower, and then when they're above you, that's when you pop out. And night of the first day. Uh, remember, last time that we were in Clock Town, we knew that there was a lady that was going to get robbed on the night of the first day. Because of that, I think that's good enough reason to actually have a point here where we drop what we're doing, go there, and try to save her. Because, now that we have a sword, I think we could actually do something about that. And, you know, maybe there'd be a reward in it for us, though, so maybe we should go out and do that whenever uh, we get a chance to. Can I get over here? Can I get over here? Let's see if I do this right. Uh, not quite. I was going to try to be on top of the treasure chest when it spawned because... Right here. We're inside the chest. I got the map! We got the dungeon map, and that was a really, really, really bad just ear rape right there. Okay. So, now that we got the map, uh, we can now see where we are, obviously, though. Am I going to fall? No, I'm not. Okay. Surprising. Go over here. Okay, so back in the main room right here, we got these things again that killed us last time. <laughs> I like how I died. Alright, now that we have a key, uh, we can go over here, and if we kill this guy, another stray fairy. Now we have five of them. Okay. Uh, if you want to see how many stray fairies you have at any time, you can go to your dungeon map, and it will tell you that there are 15 stray fairies here trapped in this temple, and we have to get all 15 of them that are the same color. There's no other colors, though, at least not yet, so don't worry about that. This looks pretty light. Well, don't just stand there. Press A to grab it and use control stick to move it. And it's so light that even a Deku scrub can move it. Okay, for a second there, I didn't think it would be able to for some reason. Alright, so. Here is... What do we got here up there? We got one of these jerks. He is jerk face. What do we got here? Get it because he has like a face on him. I'm going to call him jerk face. And can I... That was amazing. That was amazing. Yeah, it was amazing. Hey, come on. Show your back. Show it. Okay, seriously. Skulltula. Thank you. Okay. So, anyway. We have six stray fairies. Now that we're about a third of the way done here, I think we're going to call it quits here. So, next time on The Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask, we are going to be continuing through Woodfall Temple and hopefully getting further. And as you can see, there's a stray fairy down there. Don't worry about that. We'll be able to get that later. We can't do anything about it now, okay? See you guys then.